Table Rock Lake's the best bass fishing in the world. Are you kidding me? It's the best. Table Rock Lake is the best. It's the best fishing. It's the best recreation. It's the best. It's the best uh, swimming. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> How about roller skating? Oh, roller skating, yes, yes. I've never seen such clear, more beautiful scenery. And, and the waters, uh, I, I can see why everyone in the country wants to come to this place. Everybody needs a getaway place. And of course, Table Rock Lake is the fun getaway lake. Uh, well, we, we, we all had them, but then we got diving. pontoon boats. Mm -hmm. Scuba diving. Skiing, yeah, we'll go out to tubing. the beach. And, uh -huh, tubing. Oh, what tubing. Got to yes, do it. Did. Down on Table Rock Lake. Yeah, I remember the Maid Boys told me that one time back there, they started, they, they did the first show in town, Maid Boys did, downtown Branson, a little school building. And they told me, they said, uh, you know, we, we got to talking one day, and we said, boys, you know, we can get to making $200 a week, we can quit our day job, you know. <laughs> well, they're doing considerably better than that. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I'm proud for them. They, they, uh, they started something here that, uh, then, the, then the Presleys came in, came in, and the Plumber family, and... Uh, it's strictly local talent developed this thing, I and mean, that's what's so amazing. Yes, you can live a normal life. It's the only place in the music business that, that you can live a, a normal life and a family life. Branson is as good as it gets for uh, entertainer. Yeah, I'll take this from here on out. Stay late, down on Table Rock Lake. Uh, my favorite memory on Table Rock Lake was uh, after not skiing for about 15, 20 years, I got on the skis and got up the very first time. Wobbled a little bit, but I was up and running. And I made it down about, no, oh, maybe six, seven hundred yards, and my legs wore out, and I switched again. That's it. <laughs> it's okay. My favorite time was watching Mickey ski that time. <laughs> it's good to go fishing and swimming, and um, it's really pretty. And it's good to just go in a pontoon boat and just relax. And it's a good day off. I guess my favorite memory of Table Rock was when I first came to town and we first drove over it. And it was so big and so impressive. It's like the most beautiful thing in the world. And even now, a lot of times I'll find myself overlooking it at night when the sun set. And that's about my favorite time of all, I guess. One of the things you got to do out at Table Rock Lake, you almost got to see it to believe it, is to, is to go out on Table Rock Lake on a full moon night, on a clear full moon night. That lake just glows. And you can see out there almost like it's dusk or, or, or early dawn or something. It is just fabulous to get out there. And of course, uh, I don't know if everybody knows this, but, but Table Rock Lake in the, in the summertime is one of the best swimming lakes you would ever want to get in. It's just like bath water. And it is really special at night in Table Rock Lake. It's just beautiful. I swim. You swim? Where? A new time beach. I am fortunate enough to live overlooking the lake and I've got a wonderful view and every night and my daughter she is three years old and she always, she always when the sun's going down she says daddy come and look at the sun it's going down over the lake and we'll stand there with our nose pressed to the glass and watch it go down over the lake it's beautiful it's a, it's a moment you can't it's hard to describe it's like trying to put a sunlight in a bottle well, for me, it's special because it's such a family place. Uh, I have a special memory of Table Rock with my two little boys, uh, Jordan and Joshua. We used to go down to Moonshine Beach and skip rocks, and it's, it's wonderful to see family and be out there with family. And me and old Jeremy sitting there one evening, you know, and we, we just had a cane pole and a can of worms, and we was catching sunburns. But I stopped by and he said, boys, doing any good? I said, well, yeah. He said, what are you catching? I said, sunburns. He said, they're kind of small, aren't they? I said, well, they're bigger than butter beans. <laughs> you know they taste yeah, better, too. They taste better, too, especially fried. Yeah, yeah boy. Yeah. Fond memories. Got the best Fun. one. I caught the skinny, biggest crappie skinny fish. Skinny dipping. Crappie fish you've ever seen. <laughs> well, with 30 of us moving here to Branson, we, we, we rent a fleet when we want to go out together. <laughs> you, know, you know what I think's the best about it is that my boys are all, my three sons are in their 20s, and uh, they go fishing every day. They just love it here. And they're real Southern California boys. And they came here and they say, Mom, this is where we want to be forever. They just love it. So pretty, and it's warm, and all the jet skis, and the boating, and it really just is such a vacation. No, no matter when you go out on it, you're like, OK, I'm and we're living here. It's 
wonderful. I'm a golf nut too. Of course, you know, the fishing is uh, some of the finest in the world It's here. I, I live on a golf course out there at Port Royal. Which is good. Fishing, golf. Oh, well, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm addicted to golf and I'm out there working on the swing all the time. And, and uh, I live on the 14th hole and I uh, get out there and, and play every day if the weather permits. And uh, we're having good weather now. But this is my home. This is where I'm from. I'm from a town not too far from here. And I left in 63 and went to Los Angeles. Came back in 79. I feel like I came home. I guess as I look back on my life, I felt like I just lived in a motel up until now. But I'm here. I'm raising my children. And it's a good place to be on Table Rock Lake. show everybody our beautiful new video, Nature's Best Show. Oh, oh good idea. Yeah, yeah, great idea. Let's, let's see it. Welcome to Table Rock Lake, one of the most exciting and beautiful lakes in this part of the world. It's nature's best show. The spectacular setting for this show is the breathtakingly beautiful Ozark Mountains of southwest Missouri. Smack dab in the middle of the USA and close enough to just about everywhere to be the perfect spot for your vacation or retirement. Travelers come to the lake via a modern network of federal and state highways connecting to the scenic roads that weave their way around the 745 miles of gorgeous shoreline. Table Rock is only minutes from Branson, Missouri, which has become the live music show capital of the world. Millions of folks are finding that combining nature's best show on Table Rock Lake with the shows on their Branson visit gives them an outstanding mixture of fun and relaxation. You are the star of nature's best show when you enjoy the activities available on Table Rock Lake, and the list is almost endless. A great one is fishing. The lake brims with fresh, clear water and is virtually a fisherman's paradise, boasting an abundance of crappie, white bass, catfish, and bluegill. And Table Rock Lake is acclaimed by many as the best bass fishing lake in this hemisphere. Pros from throughout the United States fish Table Rock Lake and come back again and again. Why? Because they catch fish, and so can you. Those same waters that provide such an abundance of fish stories provide perfect conditions for swimming, skiing, tubing, and all-around general fun when warmed by the summer sun. Many parks around the lake have roped-off swim areas. Jet skis can be rented at most marinas in the area, and the young and young at heart find them an exhilarating way to explore the lake. Scuba diving in Table Rock Lake is a sport for those into real exploration. The remains of submerged forest land and the beautiful rock formations of the Ozark Mountains have intrigued divers from all over the world. Another audience participation segment of nature's best show is sightseeing. The prized photo of a sunset over the lake has graced many a mantle or vacation album. Sightseeing is enjoyable no matter what the season or the weather. Mother Nature changes the stage for her show just as an artist changes the set design on a stage. In the spring, the Ozark Mountains bloom with red buds, dogwoods, and other flowering trees. Summers are lush green with more trees than you can imagine. For autumn, the oak and maple trees are like pillars of fire among the shades of gold and bronze on the hillsides. And in the winter, the green of the cedars and pines blend with the soft browns of the forest to contrast with the water reflecting the bright blue of a crisp, clear day. The most exciting way to see the sights on Table Rock Lake is from the water itself in whatever form of boat you choose. Whether it be an aluminum fishing boat to a luxury cruiser, there's room enough on this lake for everyone. Bass boats are, of course, first choice among fishermen and are available on a daily rental basis from most marinas. Ski boats provide an exciting family outing and can be seen pulling the adventurers through the water on everything from water skis to kneeboards. Tubing is always popular and requires a little less precision and balance but affords the exhilaration of skiing. Video of these star performances can make you famous with the crowd back home. 
Pontoons are a family favorite, and they too are yours for the renting around the lake. The ultimate, of course, is houseboating, and it's more affordable than you might think. Some choose to spend their entire vacation with a houseboat as their on-the-water accommodations. The ever-changing shore and winds add a valuable dimension to sailboating on Table Rock Lake. If you trail your boat to the lake, there are dozens of public launching ramps. The curtain went up on all this fun on and around the waters of Table Rock Lake, beginning back in 1958 with the completion of Table Rock Dam. The dam was built to form the third in a chain of lakes on the White River, often referred to now as the Tri-Lakes. The story of the construction and operation of Table Rock Dam is very interesting, and this behind-the-scenes look at the show can be seen at the Dewey Short Visitor Center, or you can travel far below the level of the lake to the actual inner workings of the dam on conducted tours. Although the temperature of the lake surface changes with the seasons, the waters pumped through the dam from the depths of Table Rock Lake are always cold and create one of the wonders of the world as far as fishermen are concerned. The cold water side of the dam, which is Lake Tenicomo, has been rated among the best rainbow trout fishing lakes in the country, and the vast warm waters of Table Rock Lake are acclaimed for abundance of all species of warm water fish. Cold and warm water fishing separated only by the width of the dam is a phenomenon not found in many other places in the world. The power source, as well as the recreational opportunities, have helped the development and growth of the towns and communities that surround the lake. The largest town on the lake is Kimberling City, with its outlying areas of Route DD, Joe Bald, Ants Creek, and Stone Ridge. It's located right in the center of the Table Rock Lake area on Highway 13, with plenty of room to accommodate the growing residential community and visitor-related industry. With a gorgeous view from any direction, you'll find a multitude of retail shops and a variety of friendly accommodations. Kimberling City remains quiet and beautiful while providing all the excitement you want. Branson West is close to Kimberling City at the junction of highways 76 and 13. The many shops and restaurants in Branson West as well as entertainment opportunities make it a must-do spot to visit and a great place to stay. Reed Spring, just a few miles north of Branson West on Highway 13, has its own brand of charm. Many artists and craftsmen have delightful shops there and welcome visitors to watch them work or buy their wares. On the James River arm of Table Rock Lake is the Y Highway area and the town of Cape Fair. The beautiful location, just a few miles from Mark Twain National Forest and Piney Creek Wilderness area, provides hiking trails and camping areas that are hard to match. Beautiful resorts dot the area too. Notch is another growing residential community located on the scenic ridges of Highway 76. Quaint Ozark hillbilly style shops and buildings accent the highway in Notch and are beautifully contrasted by the modern town growing up on the hillsides. Just a few miles east of Notch on Indian Point Road is the famous Silver Dollar City. Actually an incorporated city, it is best known for the giant theme park of the same name. Silver Dollar City is home to craftsmen who are masters of every 19th century handiwork. You'll also find 20th century technology providing some of the most thrilling rides any amusement park could offer. Silver Dollar City has played an important part in drawing visitors to the area for the past 30 years and is a must-see for anyone visiting today. <laughs> Just south of Silver Dollar City is the peninsula community of Indian Point. Reaching down from Indian Point Road, dozens of accommodations provide breathtaking views and access to Table Rock Lake. Now swinging around to the south side of the lake, you'll find the Baxter Lampy area. Convenient to all the popular attractions, and yet its quiet atmosphere allows one to relax, observe, and enjoy the true and original values of the lake. Along Highway 86, you'll discover the Blue Eye, Long Creek, and Twin Island areas with accommodations of every kind. The view is beautiful from atop the high ridges that stand above the island-dotted blue water. Just a little further west is the peaceful and relaxing town of Shell Knob. Established in 1835, it has maintained its quaint Ozark charm while growing into a thriving vacation and retirement area. Less than 20 miles on south through the Ozark Mountains of Missouri and Arkansas is the unique and beautiful city of Eureka Springs, Arkansas. This Victorian-style town, built into and out of some of the most unusual rock formations in the country, is home to hundreds of working artists and the great passion play. Its entire downtown area is on the National Historic Registry. 
All of the towns and cities on Table Rock Lake are vacation spots unto themselves, and each is only minutes from what has become one of the most popular vacation destinations in the country, Branson. The phenomenon of Branson's growth is closely tied to Table Rock Lake. It was the lake and the White River that first brought visitors to the Branson area. In fact, a flood on the White River caused Harold Bell Wright to stop in this area and led to the writing of his famous story, The Shepherd of the Hills. Soon after Wright's best-selling novel was published in 1907, and still today, thousands of visitors come to see the people and the places he wrote about. Old Matt's Cabin, the setting for Wright's book, is the number one historical attraction in Missouri. A nightly theater presentation depicts the famous story. Nature's best show and the visitors it brought to the area gave birth to the music industry as a way to entertain those visitors. The number of music shows has grown and now Branson has become the live music show capital of the universe. The national publicity spawned by the growing music industry is bringing people from all over the country and around the world. The local family music shows that first catered to the Lakes area visitors in the 60s laid the foundation for the boom of today with Ozark style music and hospitality. A big part of the draw to the nationally known stars that have opened theaters in Branson is that they are accessible to the public, signing autographs and posing for pictures with their audiences. Most of the folks that perform on the Branson stages live and play in the Lakes area too. Many have discovered, just like their audiences, that nature's best show on Table Rock Lake offers the perfect contrast to the hustle and bustle of the Branson show scene. Literally minutes from any stage door, the lake is the perfect playground for their hard to come by leisure time. Another phenomenon of nature's best show is the number of folks that come for a visit and stay for a lifetime. The area has responded with open arms to the population growth. Well-managed land developments for houses and condominiums are blending into the mountains and hillsides. The fully accredited healthcare facilities and trauma centers have expanded, and every school system in the area is expanding while maintaining their high state rankings and quality of education. To manage the rapid growth in the Branson and Table Rock Lake area, the state, federal, and local agencies have banded together to provide a new and growing road system. New highways that connect to all the roads leading out to the towns and communities on Table Rock Lake will lessen the traffic congestion in Branson and help visitors travel to the vacation paradise of the lakes area and the beautiful show nature has waiting for them there. When visitors discover the lake, they find many resorts that offer lake and lakefront views that will take your breath away. For outdoor folks, there are plenty of campgrounds in the woods and hills of the Table Rock Lake area that are perfectly equipped for everything from one-man tents to retirement travel homes. Whether your accommodations for the show are lake view or lake area, cozy cabin, comfortable motel unit, or luxury condominium, you're never more than a few minutes from nature's water-covered stage and all those water activities. Another great segment of nature's best show is all the enjoyable activities around the lake. A favorite part of that segment is shopping. The towns around Table Rock Lake provide a wide variety of shopping opportunities. Many Ozark craftsmen are still alive and well in these hills and practicing arts that most of the urban areas of the U.S. have left behind. The handmade artistry of skilled master craftsmen can be found at almost every turn. And you'll find that these talented folks will always have time to talk about their work and help you understand the history of their crafts. Shopping for every sort of modern-day item is possible, from sporting goods to fine fashions, and cowboy boots to crystal. Dining is another popular and enjoyable part of the show around the lake. You'll find something for every taste with just about every cuisine imaginable represented. Not only is the food in the area diverse and delicious, you'll also find it to be pleasing to the pocketbook. The cost of eating out in the Ozarks is far below most other vacation areas in the country. As a guest star in Nature's Best Show, you'll find talents you may not even know you had as you take in the attractions around the area. They are almost as numerous and varied as stars in the nighttime sky. From go-karts to golf, there's something for every age. For the more adventurous, there are water slides and bumper boats, while those who want both feet on the ground can walk miles and miles of well-manicured golf courses. There are nearly a dozen courses within half an hour's drive. Don't want to walk? Well, how about a ride? There's everything from horseback trails to steam engines. Now, when you're ready to sit down for a spell, you just might want to do it in one of our fine outdoor theaters. If you're one that needs to be on the move, just take a hike. And we mean that literally. Hiking trails dot these hills and mountains. It's a beautiful way to see the countryside. If you want to see what's under that countryside, cave exploration is another popular pastime in the area. 
If the lake activities and area attractions aren't enough to keep you busy, you'll find that the area towns plan festivals and special events just about every week of the year. Let's take a look at a few of them. Holidays bring out the best of the local fun makers, like the folks sponsoring the many giant fireworks shows on the 4th of July. Hundreds of boats fill the coves where the shows are visible to watch the sparkling explosions reflect on the lake as they dance through the nighttime sky. Another holiday that has grown into its own season is Ozark Mountain Christmas. Most of the theaters in Branson have special Christmas shows beginning in November, and the area streets and shops take on the look of a winter wonderland outlined in Christmas lights. Area restaurants and accommodations stay open to welcome the winter visitors. The most beautiful and fast becoming the most popular free show during Ozark Mountain Christmas is the Port of Lights at Kimberling City. The Port of Lights is built and sponsored each year by the Table Rock Lake, Kimberling City Area Chamber of Commerce. Thousands and thousands of Christmas lights are carefully coordinated to bring a vivid vision of the season's joy to young and old alike. Literally scores of huge animated displays are viewed annually by hundreds of thousands of delighted visitors as they drive through the Port of Lights. You'll see everything from towering candy canes to a hillbilly fisherman and marvel at the 30-foot tall wreath and glittering American flag reflecting on the water. Surrounded by the lake on three sides, the magnificent displays are visible from the water too, and the reflections on the lake mirror and magnify the beauty of the twinkling lights. From the tunnel of lights to the huge jack-in-the-box, you find a new surprise at every turn. Each year, the Port of Lights grows larger and larger with new and even more spectacular displays. This impressive show can be viewed every night from early November to mid-January and is gaining national recognition as one of the truly great lighting displays in the country. The best way to tell you about the Port of Lights is to show you just a little glimpse of the dazzling array of lighted fantasy that awaits every holiday visitor. Whatever the season, we know you'll agree that Table Rock Lake is nature's best show. And there's no admission fee to take in the beautiful sights. We invite you to come often and stay as long as you like. Wake up, Gilly, it's a fine day for fishing. I'll grab a cup of coffee, go catch a few. They ain't biting, it don't matter. I thank the Lord for my time with you. Down on Table Rock Lake, down on Table Rock Lake. Come early, stay late, down on Table Rock Lake. I'll get the cool. I'll get the melon. <laughs> Looks like a perfect picnic day. We'll run a boat, away we'll float. Sing it all the way. Down on Table Rock Lake. Down on Table Rock Lake. Come early, stay late. Down on Table Rock Lake. Got a whole bunch of nothing to do. Want some good old hanging around? Oh, yeah. It's true, we got the perfect view. So won't you come on down? Down on Table Rock Lake. Down on Table Rock Lake. Come early, stay late. Down on Table Rock Lake. Jet ski skipping on the water. Flashing like otters <laughs> Silvos, houseboats And that ain't all When the sun goes down And the whippoorwill calls Ooh, the magic Of an Ozark night Down on Table Rock
about the Table Rock Lake area, we invite you to call the 800 number on your screen. Operators are standing by. Call now to receive a free information packet. This video was produced for the Table Rock Lake Kimberling City Area Chamber of Commerce. This project was produced in cooperation with the Missouri Division of Tourism.